Hi, welcome to Advanced Ensemble Technique Bagging. Bagging is combining the result of multiple models. Mostly uh, in the uh, bagging ensemble technique, the dysentries will be used uh, as a weak learners to get generalized result. If all the models utilize the same set of data uh, and combine it, is it useful? No. Mostly uh, all, all models provides the same result due to same data set is given as a input. So what we will use? We will use so row sampling and feature sampling. Row sampling and feature sampling. Right. So here row sampling in the sense some of the rows will be avoided to give the model uh, some few models some of the rows will be uh, given repeated so like that so row sampling and feature sampling done in the uh, bagging ensemble technique so that means uh, uh, here uh, we are going to use the bootstrapping approach the in this approach we will divide the data set into few subsets that is the row sampling we are going to use the row sampling approach here what we will use for example the sample number one given to uh, sample number one and sample number four and sample number six given to dysentery uh, one right then sample number uh, two and uh, sample number uh, four then sample number uh, six and sample number seven given to dysentery 21 likewise the sample number uh, sample number one and sample number uh, five and sample number seven given to dysentery n so you look at that we have done row sampling here likewise there is the possibility of feature one given to feature one will be given to only dysentery one the feature two and three may given to a dysentery n feature number uh, one only may given to the feature number one only may given to dysentery 21 so this is called feature sampling this is called feature sampling so few features only sent to the uh, sent to few models right few samples are uh, sending to the uh, sending to few models so this is called row sampling and um, feature sampling so here the output for uh, sample one we are getting from the model one and the output for the sample one we are getting for, from the model n so from this we will so like this we are having the n number of models so the output of sample one uh, from n number of models sent to the strong learner then here that strong strong learner will use any one of the approach like majority voting majority voting okay so suppose one more model is also having uh, sample number one for example here that is also sending the output for the sample number one so for sample number one actual output is zero actual output is zero but the sample number uh, dysentery one weak learner one is predicting as zero weak learner uh, this is weak learner for example 25 the weak learner 25 is deciding it is a zero that were nth uh, weak learner is deciding it is one you look at that the same sample the same sample which is predicted as yes, uh, by s yes, 0 by weak learner 1 s yes, 0 by 25 and s yes, 1 by uh, nth weak learner so here we will apply the majority voting so there uh, 0 is occurring two times one is occurred two one time so this will give you the output as yes, 0 so this is your you look at that the, now it is matching with our actual output so this predicted output is matching with our actual output so our accuracy is improving so here this is called this each one is called bag each one is called bag so it is using the bags of output bags of output of weak learners bagging the outputs of weak learners so that's why it is called bags right to get the better distribution so this process is called um, bagging technique for example you look at here the base model uh, as we discussed the original data is splitted into uh, different uh, subsets that is called using the row sampling and feature sampling row sampling and 
feature sampling so here that is given to the model weak learner one base learner or weak learner one and uh, for like that we are having the five number of weak learners each model is taking different kind of subset of samples you look at that this is l number of samples with different features m number of samples with different features n number of small n number of features with different features small p number of uh, samples with different features so this is called making that subset of samples is called bootstrapping then we will get the output for example as we discussed for sample number one this model may predicted as yes, uh, yes means one one. okay but actually our output actual output of the sample number is uh, sample number one is zero here this may be predicted as zero this may be predicted as zero this may be predicted as one this may be predicted as zero you look at that maximum number of predictions are here zeros right so the predicted output for the sample number one is zero so there is the possibility of reducing the error when you are using multiple learner multiple weak learners so multiple weak learners are producing more uh, accurate values so this is called bagging technique thanks for watching